All right, so the last time we talked about um, you know, properties of the Hessian on Rn, and in particular, it's like it, it has these two properties, one of which is symmetry, and the other which is that if you uh, convert the function into like to something, it's like which um, is just a, a single, which has a single scalar parameter, it's like which uh, involves having a base point and a direction. Uh, then when you take the second derivative, it's like of that uh, sort of sort of function which is parameterized by this uh, scalar parameter, um, then this gives you the Hessian. It's like um, sort of acting, it's like at, um, well, acting, it's like on this direction vector, it's like and then paired with that uh, direction vector again via the inner product, okay? All right, um, so in any case, um, with that in mind, it's like now let's uh, propose a definition of the Hessian operator, it's like on Riemannian manifolds, um, and, and then see where we go with that, okay? So let me just state this definition. Um, and I guess I should also say that uh, the other thing it's like which uh, we said was that you should think of the Hessian operator as a linear operator from uh, a vector space to a vector space, okay? So, all right, with that in mind then, uh, if you're given a real valued function, f uh, on a Riemannian manifold m, Right, then the Riemannian Hessian of F at a point uh, X in M, right, it's a linear map. this Hess f of x, okay, of uh, Txm, tangent space at x to the manifold m into itself. Uh, and it's defined by the following. Okay, so you have this Hessian f of x and you move in a particular direction, let's say, the Cx, okay? All right, so, um, all right, so if you're on a Riemannian manifold, um, you, you know, of course, that if you give me a scalar value function, I can construct the, the gradient of this, okay? So, so that's the start of that, so you have grad of f, right? So gradient of f, right, then gives you um, a vector, and if you want another vector coming out of it, and you want something like a derivative acting on it, uh, then as we've discussed, one very, very natural way to do this uh, is to look at the covariant derivative of, of that vector field. So let's look at the covariant derivative uh, in this direction, because Cx, right? And that's sort of an obvious candidate, if you will. It's like for the, uh, the Hessian uh, in this sense, uh, and this is true for you want to define this for all, it's like uh, vectors in the tangent space to M. And then of course this uh, sort of nabla is going to be uh, the Riemannian connection on M, right? Or the levi chivita connection. Okay. And um, of course, the nice thing about this is that, as you might expect, um, if you happen to be uh, on uh, a Euclidean space, right, um, then this reduces uh, to the, uh, the usual notion that we, which we have, right, of, uh, of the Hessian that's like on Rn, okay? So uh, let me just sort of state that as a remark. <coughs> Um, and let me maybe just write this here, right? That Hessian of f of x acting in a particular direction, right, is equal to the covariant derivative uh, in this direction acting on the gradient uh, of f, right? Okay, so um, 
So let's make some remarks about how this uh, relates uh, to the usual notion of the Hessian. It's like an RN just to, um, you know, at least allow us to say that it generalizes that specific case. So if uh, M is Euclidean space, Right, uh, then this definition reduces uh, to the usual one, uh, which is that uh, if you have Hessian f of x <coughs> acting on z, right, this is equal to the sum over i and j of <coughs> d squared i j f hat uh, x1 to xn, okay, zj, ej, right, um, where, of course, the ejs, it's like, give you an autonormal basis, it's like on the Euclidean space, uh, the zjs are the coordinates uh, associated at the point z, and x1 to xn's obviously are the coordinates associated uh, with uh, x1 to xn, okay, and then these are the usual classical uh, sort of mixed uh, partial derivatives, okay? So, so the point again is that this definition here reduces to this thing, which is again, uh, nothing more than a way of thinking of the, the Hessian matrix, it's like in Rn, as a linear operator acting on vectors and giving you another vector. Okay, so, um, and then the other thing of course is that, um, the, the reason why we want to think of this as the Riemannian Hessian is that, uh, as we alluded to, one of the things, of course, you use the, the Hessian for um, in sort of optimization is that you use it to construct um, quadratic models. Okay, so um, so the point is that uh, so we can use this use the Riemannian Hessian. construct uh, a quadratic model of a cost function. So let's think of the cost function f. All right. Uh, so let's think of the model as m sub x at some point y. So this is just f at x, right? So x is a base point, and y is like a direction, if you will. Okay, uh, not quite a direction, sorry, it's a, a, y is a nearby point, I guess is perhaps the best way to think about this. Okay, so it's f of x plus uh, the inner product between the gradient of f at x with the uh, inverse exponential. Uh, so this is the Riemannian exponent, inverse of the Riemannian exponential, it's the Riemannian logarithm, if you will, okay. All right, uh, then plus a uh, one half the Hessian of f of x acting on the inverse exponential. All right, so if y is a point on m, which is near to x, right, then the inverse exponential will give you a vector based at x, right? So this is a vector based at x. And so then you have the Hessian, it's like acting on a vector based at x will give you another vector based at x. And then you can pair it uh, as you might expect uh, with uh, the uh, inverse exponential of y again. Um, I should put the base point x here just so that uh, that makes sense. Okay, so this thing, it's like, which is sort of the uh, obvious analog again, it's like of the essentially just the Taylor expansion of the function, right? The multivariate Taylor expansion. Okay, this is going to give you uh, um, a quadratic model, it's like of the function f, it's like uh, around x. Okay, so that's, that's, uh, so, so that's, that's sort of a, a useful thing to, to know. Okay. All right. Okay, so let me just stop here for now. <coughs>